we're going to talk about decibels and bells right now. So look at these numbers over here, 1,000, 10 million, 0 0.001, and a number that I don't know how to say. So these numbers are unnecessarily cumbersome, and we spoke about this before. So to begin the simplification, we rewrite these levels in scientific notation. So 1,000 becomes 10 to the third, 10 million becomes 10 to the seventh, 0 0.001, 10 to the negative three, and that other number is now 10 to the negative seventh. And we can simplify this even further because the base is redundant. Our base is always 10. So why not just record the exponents? 3, 7, negative 3, and negative 7. And if you remember from the last chapter, an exponent is a log. So when we record an exponent, we've taken the log of a number. So remember, the relative level is now a log with a base of 10, an absolute over an absolute reference. So the log of the ratio, the absolute over the absolute reference, is called a bell. The number of bells equals log base 10 ix over ir. Just assume that the base is going to be 10. So for our previous four levels, we have 3 bells, 7 bells, negative 3 bells, and negative 7 bells. If it's positive, the absolute is greater than the reference. If it's negative, the absolute is less than the reference. Going back to our figure before, we have our absolute in the left column, and then we have two different references, 10 to the negative 10 and 10 to the negative 12. We're forming a ratio to find a relative level. Our relatives, if the reference is 10 to the negative 10, are now 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So we just drop the 10 because we assume that the 10 is there. The 10 is the reference, um, like the, the base. The 10 is always the base. When we change the reference to 10 to the negative 12, notice our relative values change. So they now become 4, 3, 2, 1, and negative 1. Okay, so here's what I just spoke about. You can look it over for yourself and try to understand what I just spoke about. Now it's a little bit trickier because our absolute value is 2 times 10 to the negative 8 watts per meter squared and our reference is 10 to the negative 12, but we go ahead and solve it just like we spoke about in the log chapter. Remember our base is 10, a log is an exponent. So we can take bells and if we want to find a decibel, which you might be familiar with that term, a decibel is simply one-tenth of a bell. So to convert from bells to decibels, all you have to do is multiply by 10. So 4.3 bells is the same as saying 43 decibels. Things, all these transformations that we've been talking about in the last few videos, they're just supposed to simplify things for our clients and our patients so that they don't have to deal with these big cumbersome numbers that have no meaning to them. Everything's been transformed into something that's uh, more understandable, more manageable. So we now are going from bells to decibels. So the number of bells, that original formula, is log, the exponent base, an absolute over a reference. The number of decibels is simply taking 10 times that exponent with a base of 10, absolute over a, re a reference. And then there are a bunch of sample problems if you had the base, a reference base of 10 to the negative 12 watts. So why don't you go ahead and try to solve those on your own.